Hello everybody, the Lord Root here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play KSP. So I've decided, you know, I'm getting kind of bored of sandbox mode, uh, so I'm gonna start a career mode game. We actually do have cause to celebrate, because, um... At this time, I just put in, um, another 4 gigs of RAM. Which essentially means that, um, I should get much better performance out of this, so we'll just, um, set this up. We'll go with our regular flag. In fact, I might go with this one, because it looks cool. And we will begin. So, um, I've installed the newest version of all of the mods I'm using. Not for the point .23 update, because I don't think any of them are out yet. But, um... Let's get us some, um... Some awesome astronauts here, I guess, while we're at it. We'll get Siegfen and a uh, rebrick and that'll do for now we'll just um look at our tech tree real quick at our research complex and we have about our standard selection here so what we'll go ahead and do is we will do ourselves a very basic launch pad mission just because of the fact that the way that science works has changed a little bit and we'll just get as much as we can so we can get that decoupler i could be like uh, scott manley or whatever and do a 300 science run but why bother so let's go ahead and we will um let's get a crew report and we will grab that real quick oh uh, that'll give us 1.5 science in fact we get a hundred percent transmission rate on that so we might as well well we can't transmit because i didn't put an antenna on but we'll take ourselves an EVA. Let's see. Let's take that data. Okay. Uh, we'll just um, we'll just walk around real quick. Is it me or are these guys just a little bit slower? And we will. Um, take an EVA report and let's take a surface sample of the launch pad because you know the fact that we constructed this launch pad we have no idea what it's made of and so um, what else is down here well there is, of course, the, um, let me just put it on time acceleration, so, so we move a little bit faster. We will, um, take another EVA report. I guess we need to take our sample. And we should have plenty of science. Um, I think we do actually get, um, we actually do get, um, oh, science for deploying the flag. I'm not sure about that, so we'll say this is the launch pad 
um, and we'll say impressive geological find. So we'll just go ahead, we'll get back into the capsule and we will recover this. Because, of course, something like this should not be held from the scientific community. We know very little about the launch pad, and because of that, uh, it looks like I'm stuck. Maybe if I go this way. Well, so much for that, I guess, um, I may not be able to get back on here, or maybe I will, I guess it just takes a little bit of, uh, jumping around, so we'll, we'll grab this and we will recover our vessel. I guess it probably would help for me to have boarded that. But we got 12 science. Which is enough for us to unlock um, this rocketry. And so uh, let's see what we can look forward to if they added anything. Looks like maybe not much, but, um, the EVA report does not appear to be worth anything whatsoever, so, um, it looks like maybe they nuked that, and so let's just go, um, Um, into the VAB now, and uh, let us um, let us construct a new rocket. Maybe something that will give us an orbital trajectory. And so um, we'll do our usual. We will create. Um, we will create, um, this thing right here. And we'll do ourselves a series of launches that will hopefully get us up into, um, into space. And so uh, we'll use our classic staging the deal here. And maybe hope that, um, this will be enough to, um, to get us going. I'm thinking it will be, but you never know. We'll just give it a shot. So we'll, uh, what we'll do is we will attach maybe five of these, and hopefully that will get us up to where we want to go. And then we will um, put down this guy here, just to give us a bit of a boost. And if everything goes right, We will, um, we'll have ourselves a grand old time and get into orbit. So, um, let's see, do we need control? We probably do, but 
other things we need to do, of course, is we need to add, um... You know, we need to add a, um... A deal here as well. We need to, um... Take our science... And... Um... Add these things here. I'm not gonna bother with an antenna because... As it turns out, transmitting stuff... Is not so easy to do, so... Um... Well, you know what, I'll... We'll wait until we unlock some stuff. It's not entirely necessary that we have that antenna. And we'll call this the first shot. So, um, there we go. We have, um, a rocket. And we will, um, try to get up into space as best as we can. So let's do that. Let's, um, turn on T for our stability. Let's see how much Delta V we have when we get up here. And we will observe this mystery goo. That's another thing they changed. They changed, um... Whoa. This may have not been such a wise idea. Although it appears, um, we take this crew report. It appears we'll have more than enough Delta V to get us to where we want to go. And let's go ahead, we'll, um, take this. Oh, we have a crew report already. Let's get ready for our gravity turn here in a bit. Looks like I overdid it just a bit on my throttle. But, um, yeah, we will be up into space before too long. So this will be very good for us. I think we can just go ahead, we'll throttle up just a little bit. Let's see, can we take another crew report? The answer to that Maybe no, but it depends. Maybe we can... Um... Maybe we can... Store this later on when we get out of our capsule. So let's see what are time to apple apses. Yeah, we could definitely and definitely bring that down some. And we ran out of fuel unfortunately. Which means I can try 
to um, take a crew report. I'm going to wait until I get a little bit higher up. But um, we will, of course, have um, our, um, our EVA that we can do here. I'll just, you can't take a sample in space, so I'm just going to keep that, wait until, um, I get up in the atmosphere. Or oh, the atmosphere rather. Which appears to have just happened. And we'll take another EVA report here. And we'll also grab a mystery goo sample as well. So we will um, go ahead. We don't need this stage anymore. It can be ditched. And we will get ready for our descent. which should happen fairly soon. And I'm thinking maybe the next thing I should do once we finish this is perhaps I should um, go with survivability. Survivability is nice because it gives us power management. Oh, so we'll just... Uh, I guess you can't close the doors on the mystery goo without, um... that looking at this. We'll see where we land. Maybe we'll land in the ocean. Or maybe we'll land on land, in which case we can take another surface sample. It looks like we are going to be hitting the ocean though. Maybe not. Maybe we will actually hit land this time. It's hard to tell. I'm hoping we'll hit land because that means we can, um, We can take a surface sample and increase our science. But it looks like that will not be the case for us. Looks like we are going straight into the ocean. However, um, that does mean that we have recovered, um, our first capsule. 
despite the fact that it was suborbital. That means that um, we're on the right track. So we will just turn off SAS, hope for a graceful landing. And if not, then we'll lose some of our science. But it looks like we will hit down, if not rather hard. And I will just hop out here. Um, make an EVA report. Get back in. And then when we land in the water, maybe do another EVA report. In fact, we'll go ahead, we'll, we'll, we'll time warp on down there. And, um... Hopefully, before too long, we'll splash down and hopefully won't lose anything. <laughs> so, let me just make one more EVA report. Ah. Uh. And that is it. So, um, let's recover our vessel, see how much science we got back from that. Probably, um, enough for us to get something nice. So why don't we do that? Why don't we, um, we can look at a couple of things here. Uh, one of them, I think we definitely want the survivability. And we will look towards getting 45 science, which should not take us long. Or we could go with stability here, which will give us stack decouplers. And I think that's actually a pretty good thing to go for. And what about, um, what about these gumballed engines? We'll go for that as well. So that does give us a fairly decent um, starting point. Now let's redesign this rocket a little bit. And we'll call this one the second shot. So what we can do with that now is... Um, First of all, we'll take off this one stage here, and we'll replace that with uh, something with a little bit more fuel. We have parachutes now that we can attach to this. Which would be nice. And um, we'll put down some landing struts as well. Not too many of them, but maybe four of them. And what about uh, this engine right here? Well, what we can do here is we can um, 
first of all, increase our total fuel storage. That's going to be necessary. And we'll put um, two of these SRBs on as well. And just to give us some control, why don't we put these um, fins on? And this should allow us to collect a lot more data than we would normally have. Again, I'm going to forego the antenna because... Um, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put parachutes on. Um, on our thing. Well, maybe what we have will be okay. So we'll take um, Mystery Goo here, of course. That will add three to our science, which we'll want. I'm going to grab... You know what, yeah, we do want, um... We do want a, um... An antenna. So we'll do that. Because this thing is going to mass pretty heavily. So we'll just um we'll do that and um we will put on a couple of parachutes as well. And that should make it a lot easier for us to collect our samples. With the only deal being that we'll maroon our astronaut when we take the surface sample, but that'll be okay. So, um... We'll go ahead, we will... We'll hit T for our EVA report. We'll get our EVA report, rather. Well, if I can bring this up. Grab our crew report. Throw that out, because it's not really necessary. Grab ourselves an EVA report, which we can throw out. Um... And let us get this thing on the road, so... Oh, let's see... We have a crew report we can take here that... What about, um, our mystery goo? Well, we'll get one of those goo containers. Get all the science we can out of that. And just throttle back just a little bit. So, uh, what about our crew report for the upper atmosphere? We'll definitely want to do that. We'll just, uh, wait for this stuff to, um, oh, we're going in the opposite direction we want to. We'll just get ourselves pointed 
properly. And this thing is a little bit hard to control, but... Um, we'll take our crew report nonetheless. And when we get into the upper atmosphere... We will, um, do our thing. So I think we'll be hitting that pretty soon. Why don't we go ahead, we'll grab a crew report, we'll transmit that, will that do anything for us? No, it won't. So we can only do one crew report to get science. We'll observe the mystery go at this point. And we'll keep that. Oh no, we need to bring... We pitched over a little bit too early, I think. We need to bring up our, um... Our apsis quite a bit. Well, because we are a little bit too far down. We probably have already reached our apoapsis. Are we out of fuel? We sure are. So in all likelihood we will not hit um our desired um destination. Let's see if we got another crew report we can take. And we do. We have, um... a crew report in Kerbin's upper atmosphere, so, um, let's just observe the mystery goo, and we will take that. And while we're at it, we might as well, it doesn't look like we're going to get too far off of the ground here, so we will just take um, as much as we can out of this ballistic trajectory. And we will um, we will deal with it accordingly.
because it doesn't look like we have enough thrust to mass ratio to get us into orbit. I don't think at this point it's probably safe to uh, cut our engines. We'll take we'll take an e. Whoa! Well, maybe we won't. That was not as successful as I would have hoped. Probably should not have done that in the atmosphere, but Jebediah Kerman is no longer with us. I probably should have deployed shoots first. So we'll just... We'll have to try that again. As this thing crashes at an unreasonable speed into the ocean. Let's see, so we will... Man, what is up with this text? Let us go to the Space Center. And at least see if we got some science out of it. Probably not, but I think yeah, we got nine science out of it. I think we should address some of the issues we have with this rocket, so it's um One of the things, of course, is that, um, we have way too much in the way of, um, of a lack of control, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to leave this off, and maybe if we get into the atmosphere sooner, We'll have less steep of a trajectory, and maybe we'll even, um, you know, maybe we'll even, uh, get something out of this, so, we have goo on the launch pad, I think we're just going to... We're just gonna go straight up. Contrary to, um, to conventional wisdom. Because we have SRBs, we might as well utilize them. Eh, uh, crew report. Do we have anything good to report? No, it doesn't look like it. But the hope is that this will get us far enough into the atmosphere that um, we'll be able to do something with it. Let's hope that the staging is at least proper here. We have... what do we have? We have, um... The still here. We're about to jettison our, um... 
other stuff right now, so... We're just going to have to, uh, make our gravity turn. What do we have up here? Is that upper atmosphere? No. That will basically allow us to, um... And get this thing I'm hoping at least uh, up into an orbit well, let's try this again there we go Our inclination is probably a bit off, but we're getting to the point now to where it doesn't matter as much. So what is our time to apoapsis? I guess we should start, um, we should start bringing this down a little bit. And we'll get ourselves up pretty high, I reckon. And can we do an EVA report? Or a crew report? Um, let's review the report real quick. Yeah, we'll, we'll discard that. We'll keep this This should be fine for getting us up to our apoapsis. So this time I won't step out of the cabin when I'm in the atmosphere. That's probably a bad idea. We have a periapsis of 72 and a, um, a periapsis of something or other. So from this point on, we're going to have to be very careful. But we are, in fact, in orbit. should uh, avail ourselves to that fact. Maybe grab us some goo as well. And let's see how our fuel supplies go, because we may be able to get some um, high carbon orbit stuff as well. It's looking like that might actually be the case for us. So, can we get, um... A crew report that we can use? Yes, we can. We'll... But you know what, I want trans... It's a difficult decision to decide whether to transmit that or not. I think I will, because if we're planning on going up into high or orbit then we might as well. And you know what, I'll just go ahead and... I'll, I'll get this thing up to, um... up to an orbit necessary in order to do high carbon orbit. So how are we doing on our fuel consumption? We're doing pretty well. 
it looks like. We could almost go to the moon, I think, but I don't want to risk it. So let's just step outside real quick. And we will generate an EVA report. And it's not worth anything, but, um, well, um, maybe there's going to be something here for us on this dark side of the planet that we can gather. We'll gather this. We're still above Kerbin's water. Oh, uh, we'll just, um... We'll wait until we're over the land and try that. Maybe we will get something of substance out of it. I don't know why it's insisting that we're above Kerbal's water. It, we're clearly not. Maybe now would be. I can't tell if that's water or not. Now, where is our dude? Are we, um, above the water now? Oh, cool. We get eight science for that, which is nice. So, let's go to, um, high carbon orbit. Let's grab ourselves, first of all, crew report. Let's grab um, a mystery goo data and let us um, let us take an EVA report. And we will call that a successful mission. And after that, I think we're going to try to get ourselves over the land some. So that, I think, will be sufficient for us. put this thing, we did not put it on a, um, on a parachute, but I think we should go ahead and deploy. You know what, we might as well grab ourselves some more mystery goo. And we have that one left over then for when we land. So now we are about ready to, um, to go back into our atmosphere. And the hope is that, um, We will land somewhere 
if it is so um, somewhere that's uh, appropriate for us to land. So let's do that. Um, it looks like before too long we will be um, touching down. And if I design this correctly, we should have a ton of data coming back from this. So let's see if that's the case. I'm thinking definitely we will want to go for solar panels again. Whenever we do um, deal with this. So our final landing spot will be on the edge of this desert, it looks like. And let's just time warp so that we... We get down close to, um... The surface. I think it's about to, Wow, I was lucky. Now we are coming in a little bit fast, so... I'm just gonna wait for this thing to get close by and I'm gonna try and... break a bit. Just look for that good old shadow. And that will be it. It looks like we're gonna have to go and recover some parts, but um question is, will we be able to get out? I believe the answer to that is probably no, because we are pointing straight towards the ground and we have no mechanism to turn with. Well, such as it is, I'll go ahead, I'll recover that vessel. We should get plenty of science from it because um, we were both in orbit of the planet and um, in orbit of the um, the thing. So let's just recover those bits that got knocked off. That should 
give us plenty of science. Now, how much will we need for the snoo? Um, the snoo tier? Well, let's see. Um, we can either go with a new experiment, or we can go with a probe core. But I think the new experiment is worth looking at. And that will mean that we'll need 90 or so to get our uh, photovoltaic cells. And we could do struts as well. Make that another goal. But um, that may not be um, a huge, um, a huge deal for us. So we'll make a couple of minor improvements here. We've already gotten most of our mystery goo out, so, um, what we'll do here is, um, we will, um, add in a different stage here. And what we can do is, oh, we have this right here. I don't know if the Keythane Detector will, um, do anything useful for us, but what we can do is we can take this thingy here. We'll add on a decoupler so that whenever we get close, um, that'll mean that we'll have, um, we'll of course have this capsule that we can detach. And at this point, um, we will um, we'll add in another stage, I think, for this. What else do we want? Um, definitely some batteries. And batteries would, in fact, be nice. And, um... Maybe some other things as well. We'll just put these batteries on the side here. So that, um, you know, we'll always have them. That leaves us enough room for a little bit of instrumentation as well. That we'll use to continue our collection of data. And that should be more than enough for us, I think, um... This will probably get us into orbit, at least.
Although we could try something a little bit more ambitious this time. What if we, instead of using SRBs... Well, we don't have fuel lines, though. That's part of the deal, but... What we can do instead is, we have how much thrust off of this? 315 versus... Um... 215, so... These guys are still, um... A better deal for us at the moment, even if we're going to have a little bit of trouble controlling them. And... What I'll do is I will, um, maybe I should shoot for control next, but, I will, um, add a third stage into this rocket. And maybe, um, Maybe use SRBs to get it up. I think definitely the probes are going to be useful to us for the next mission, so we might shoot for that. Because we can s then send a probe to the moon. And that will, um, that will help us out quite tremendously if we do that. Oh, and there's another thing I need to do to that too. I need to put, um, these guys here as well, so that whenever um, we separate, we'll, we'll, we'll have something to deal with as well, so this is getting to be quite a massive rocket, but I think, um, with some ingenuity on our part, we can make this thing go um, pretty much the way we want it to, so we'll have um, maybe a shot to the moon would be best. And this guy can definitely get to the moon, it's just a matter of, um, controlling ourselves. And for that, we can put on these command modules that will... We're not going to carry anybody, but, um... They will make it to where we'll have the control we need. And so we'll do that, um... We will, um... use... the still right here to, uh, to ensure that we, um, we might try to get around the moon, or whatever, so let's just, let's try this. Let's see how much in the way of resources is this guy we, we have plenty of resources, it looks like. So, um, I think we'll be able to very easily, um, get ourselves up into orbit like this.
I mean, we are, after all, um, pretty close already. And we are veering to the side a little bit, so I'm going to just start my gravity turn very slightly. And this will hopefully mean that, um, if we come back from the moon, that we will be able to, um, to get this guy down, um, Precisely where we want them. And so this is a fairly steep trajectory, but we will... We'll make it. I think. Wait, did something explode? So now is about the time for us to equalize our orbit, I think. for about, I don't know, maybe a hundred kilometer orbit, we'll see. Maybe 80 would be better. So we are pretty far out here, I think. We'll just, um, we'll do our best to, oh, now don't do that. Let me kill that maneuver node. Hundred and two versus, what, seventy nine? 91. There we go. 75 versus 82. And we'll just make a moonshot, I think. So it's about time for, for us to do that now. But the question is, do we have enough fuel to get to the moon and back? And the answer, as it would seem, is probably not. Although we are... I don't know, we may. Let's just... That was about 200 meters of delta V that we did. If we could do a free return trajectory. Then that would be 
Hey, okay in my book. Our inclination is a bit off, but... Let's just give it a shot. We get ourselves some... Um, a little... Free return trajectory going here. Which is different than how we usually do it. Usually, um, we'll want to, um, you know, set ourselves up so that we, um, we end up on this other side of the moon here. That's going to require us eight hundred or so. That seems to me to be a bit risky. So what we'll do instead is we will um Well, maybe it's risky. It, it seems risky to me. I don't know if we have enough Delta V in order to get us there. However, we should um, at least have enough to... Um, to get us going out to uh, high carbon orbit. Which means, given that, we have, um, this mystery goo container here, we'll or try to, we won't get any science out of that, so I'll just reset it. And as for this guy, we'll observe the materials bay. We won't get much science from transmitting it, but it's, oh, it's inoperable after transmitting though. So we'll just, um, we'll get up into the orbit that we're looking at. And then we will come back down to the planet. So let's observe our materials by... And we'll keep that data. We'll also observe some mystery goo as well. And we will go retrograde. There we go. Now why is it that I'm not able to, um, there we go. I'll just try and land about where I landed last time. And we'll try to get back in. Seeing as, um, we will want, um, this guy here. Let's see if we can collect some data in the interim. If 
we can get a crew report out. That's no good either. Well, let's or try to get rid of some of this velocity. At least put our fuel to good use. Wait until the last second before we um we deploy our shoots. In fact, it would probably be good if we looked at our altimeter to make that decision. I think is going to be pretty soon that we're going to have to make a decision on this on when to jettison our shoots or our science pod. Oh, well, so much for that. Loss of all hands. You gotta love it. We'll revert to the vehicle assembly building. I'm thinking maybe I'm just approaching this wrong. Maybe what I need to do is I need to... Um... Take this guy here. Put a decoupler on him. We'll move... This guy down here so that we can jettison at the last moment. And I'm thinking maybe this will be enough for me to do my lunar mission. Well, if we do this, then maybe we will, um, we will actually get to the moon this time. Let's try it. Um, this time, I believe we will have no trouble getting into orbit. And we actually need to bring the sky down a bit so. There we go. We'll just launch. And we should... Um... Have enough in the way of fuel... 
to get us up to where we need to. And yeah, this is a bit overkill, but... Oh. I think it's better than what we usually have. I mean, we'll... We'll definitely take this. We'll, um, we'll start our gravity turn early, I think. Just to um, get us started. So there we go. We'll just bring this thing down slowly. down any And maybe that'll give us something in the way of efficiency. Oh no! Well, there went that idea. I need to check my staging. I'll just observe the materials by here. And, um, we'll, we'll burn towards the ground, I think. So where will we end up? Uh, looks like we're going into the ocean again. Which is just fine by me. This will be a perfect test to see if foam um, our separation really works. At least as intended. So here we go. We are um we are coming on down. And this should give us something hopefully to recover in the ocean. Oh, let's see. Toggle or crew report. Uh, well, can we do an EVA here? Would it make sense to do one? Um, yeah, we'll do an EVA report here. And that'll 
give us a little bit more science at least. And before too long, I think we will have um, we will have a probe that we can launch because that means that um. that if I actually bother to get the staging right this time we should be just fine so we will we will touch down shortly as will this dude We will have a separate, um, a separate thing for science, so let's recover that vessel. And we got 17 science. We just, I think if we recover that other vessel, will have just enough to send a probe. So we'll recover him too. Now there are reasons why we might actually want to do a probe as opposed to um, something else. One of these is control, as we now have uh, better flaps or better winglets. We have mech jub now that we really can't use all that much, but um. We have that, um, and we will soon have, that's a big one, there's a mobile processing lab which would be good if we had, um, docking. I think we should maybe make that a next priority. However, seeing that we have it, we need to put some research into some things that um, are going to be useful to us. I mean, we don't really have much in the way of a good probe right now. So what we need to do is we need to find this engine. And we need to check our staging on it, so we have... Here we have, um... Not the stage here, but... Um... We have this guy here can use and um, instead of these capsules what we'll do is we will take this reaction wheel 
And we'll just put it down here. And let's see if maybe we can get these guys straightened out a little bit. And that, I'm hoping, will take us to the moon. Probably not, but... You know, we'll have to see. It will at least give us the control that we desire on those bottom two stages. Well, let's give it a shot. Let us oh, lift off. We are a little bit lighter, it seems. Which is nice. And I think we'll have the Delta V to, um, to get out to where we want to. The real question is going to be... It looks like we have a staging error here. There we go. Better start our gravity turn. We're a little bit better off on our control than we were, which means we might actually get the sky um, into um, orbit. And so I think we'll just start that now. We'll, uh, we'll try to keep this at a fairly um, at a fairly decent deal. Let's see our fuel for the stage only. And we'll clamp this down at, I don't know, maybe 80. I guess we don't really have much choice in the matter. But we should have plenty of fuel to get us into an orbit. And we will, um, we'll bring this thing down to maybe not such, um, such a high orbit, but, um, 72 versus 101, 82, 
76 versus 72 we are more or less where we want to be and so um, let's just wait for that burn node to come and we'll fire at maybe 21 seconds or so and that will get us into orbit now the question will be will we be able to get back I think so. I think we have plenty of fuel to get there and back. If not, then we'll do some deep space um, exploration. And that's good enough for me. Well, maybe that's not good enough for me. That is good enough for me, however. And I think, if we're careful, we can, in fact, get to the moon from here. We will just have to be, um... Extremely careful in our maneuvering. So we have ourselves what appears to be a free return trajectory. And can we bring that apoapsis down just a little bit? I think the answer to that is, um, not going to be very good. However, um, we probably do have the fuel for it, so... What we'll do is we will wait for our burn point to come up which should happen pretty soon and we will um, we'll get in position here shortly And I think maybe while we do this, um, I think I'll mention that this will be the new series for me. I think 21 episodes on the last one was pretty good. This just happens to, um, to be a much, um, I guess a much bigger uh, deal for me. I guess I, I like doing the um, career mode more now. It offers some interesting challenges, to be sure. 
And so, um, we will go ahead and, um, pretty soon, we'll get to the moon, we'll get on our return trajectory, and we'll call it quits for now. Although, um, it's difficult to tell at the moment what, um, I start plenty of Delta V, I think, um, that should bring me down fairly fairly well my periapsis on the moon is still pretty good so let's let's go ahead we're going to take our journey to the moon um We should catch up pretty soon, I'm thinking. Unfortunately, there's not a very deep space to deal with the moon. We just have to, um... There we go. So this... is our focus. So what can we do here? Well, we can take one of these guys here and um, we'll, we'll keep him around. That's 30 science. Right, we'll just turn off our CS for now. It's, we'll get a crew report and we'll transmit that. Then, um, oh, we still have plenty of electric charge. We'll get a EVA report as well. And then we will get in as close as we can to the moon. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if we can get much closer than we are now, or if that'll take too much Delta V. Escape velocity. Let's let us bring ourselves down just in case. Probably not the wisest idea on my part, but... Given, I guess... What's left... Oh...
Well, it looks like we missed our opportunity for that. But we'll take that. That's 75 science. And we'll also max out our goo containers. We'll leave one for... I guess you have to have somebody in the craft to, to do it. But... So we'll just um, we'll just take that free return trajectory and we will um, we will wait for the sky to come back in. So, we have a Mooner flyby, which is pretty cool. And I think at this point, because we're going into the ocean, I'm going to um, do what we can to go ahead and um, slow us down just a shade. So let's let's try this. Let's um let's move these guys down. We no longer need or want um this capsule. And we will just go ahead, we'll deploy our chutes now. I think. And we'll collect what we have. And hopefully that will, uh, it'll bring us in a lot of good science. Uh, let's just wait for this thing to splash down. And when it does, then we'll recover the whole shebang. And so um, then we will um, collect the science and possibly unlock something cool. Maybe something that'll let us do a probe. So there we go. We'll recover that. See how much that mission got us in terms of, um, I guess, in terms of science. We can unlock quite a few things now.
particularly because um, we got um, that one material study that is quite valuable to us. So let's just see what we might unlock. I think we definitely want um, electrics. We have the probe bodies already. Let's get us some struts for sure. Because I don't think we can afford anything here. Despite how cool that would be. We'll get ourselves some struts. And that will leave fuel systems as maybe our next goal. So anyway, this has been Dylord Root, and I will see y'all next episode.